Judy Pizzella, I will miss you sincerely. Your energy, your passion, the fire in which you approach data and data management and state reporting um, is unmatched. And I appreciated every minute that I had with you. Um, I appreciate your wisdom and your ability to sort through complex things quickly um, and see the big picture. And again, just the energy you brought to the meetings, which sometimes went around and around, but I really loved having you on the team. I wish you the best in gardening and home decorating and family. I know you'll have a fantastic retirement. Um, and I thank you for all your contributions to the MBRHS community. Judy, Judy, Judy. Doreen here wishing you all the best. So happy for you. I know retirement is a uh, a wonderful thing to look forward to and it's bittersweet because it's sad to leave uh, your community as well but from the uh, dining rooms of Farm Neck and the tees of Farm Neck all the way through the high school and sharing in the uh, transitions with the eighth graders with you and all of our connections I love you and I, I'll miss you very much and I'm not gonna really miss you though because I'll see you hopefully uh, and I just want to wish you all the best bye Judy Hey Judy, congratulations on retiring. Hope you have a great summer. Take care of yourself. See you later. Judy Pizzella. Judy is one of the most patient people I know. I'm quite sure her demeanor does not always present that way. However, I know from personal experience that it is true. As someone who came into the high school from an ungraded school later in my career, Judy has kindly led me through the grading system multiple times and never winced or judged me, at least not in front of me. Judy has an overwhelming task and talk about differentiation. We all come to her with different levels of understanding and timelines. Yet, Judy seems to sort out our messes and every kid gets their grades despite our confusing input. I'm not sure how they are going to find another saint to replace her. Judy Pizzella, congratulations on your retirement. Um, so we're supposed to share a favorite memory of the retiree and my favorite memory is not going to be one from school. You know where I'm going with this. It's going to be that Florida trip, Cocoa Beach, Linda Leonard, Kate Hennigan. Oh my God. I don't even, I, most of which I can't even say on here, but uh, I just can't stop thinking about Linda and Kate opening their window, their bedroom window, <laughs> to the glorious view of a painted brick wall. <laughs> and Linda just losing it. Oh my god, so funny. Uh, guys, I don't know, Judy, um, I'm gonna miss you. Um, I'm going to miss walking to that office and seeing that you had basically your condo, your kitchen, your house into that, I don't know how you did it, into that 50 square foot office, but you had basically uh, your own studio apartment with your flowers and your toaster oven and your carpets and your family photographs. It was, I don't know, it's just great. Um, anyway, Judy, thank you for everything. I know how many hours you have spent doing and pouring over SIMS data reports, which is the most thrilling work an educator can do. Um, but what you did for our school, for these kids, you know, they'll never know. Um, but we do and pouring over great sheets and making sure these kids have the appropriate credits to graduate and go to college and everything else. Um, it's a lot of tedious work, um, a lot of hours spent and um, I appreciate you. 
and I'm gonna miss you. Um, but I know uh, I'm still gonna see you all the time because I am neighbors with your son and you will be over for Memorial Day cookouts and all of that. So, and we will still have trips and yeah, I don't know what else to say, but other than I wish you the best and congratulations. Bye, love you. Hello, Judy. I just wanted to say congratulations. Um, we are going to miss you in the uh, Martha's Vineyard Public Schools and particularly at the high school. I truly appreciate all your many years of dedication and commitment to the children and staff, the entire community of Martha's Vineyard Regional High School. Thank you and I wish you all the best and I am envious. All the best, good luck. Hi Judy, um, I'm signing on here to wish you a happy retirement and thank you for all your service to the public school system here on Martha's Vineyard. I think that it's super easy to pay tribute to the people you see in the front of a classroom every day, but um, in my experience, it's it's most often the people behind the scenes that are really um, keeping things rolling and making everything possible. And you are definitely at the top of that list at MBRHS. Um, your ability to run the schedule and do everything else that you do that I probably couldn't even list, but I know you do a lot, um, has been amazing. And um, yeah, it's been great to get to know you a little bit and I wish you a really happy retirement. Take care. Congratulations, Judy. I'm so pleased for you. I will miss all of our chuckles that we've had when we've been in the nurse's office. Plus our relationship started years ago when our children went to the Oak Bluff School. Uh, Emma and Corey were in school together. And then Emma and Taylor played lots of sports together. But our favorite time was when we watched softball together. Best of luck, enjoy. Happy retirement! Happy retirement. Woo! And you're off. And I know that you've been waiting for this for a long time and I'm really happy. I know you're gonna spend a lot of time with your family and your grandkids and I'm so excited for you. Um, so I have a couple of things. I know we were um, Secret Santas twice and um, I still have a great pair of socks and a wonderful pair of earrings and a whole bunch of things that we shared. Um, for Secret Santa. So that was one of the, um, I'll, I'll never forget you. You're in my house and in my life um, through the things we shared, if nothing else, right? Um, and the other thing I want to say is just, I, I don't know, a big thank you for just always being um, um, helpful and always being there behind a door. When I, when, I, when I put my head around, I said, I'm really sorry, Judy, I have to ask you this. And you were like, no problem, just do it, it's fine. And I can't even tell you how, appreci how much I appreciate that through all the years that I've been here. All right, off to Pierre. Okay, happy retirement. Get a few souvenirs. One of them, of course, is you behind the scene, organizing all those grades for us nonstop. Really appreciate that. Number two, funny enough, I remember you with your boot. Somehow, for me, you wore that boot for years, probably only a few months, but we remember you walking around, training that boot. So, I wish you the best for your retirement. Enjoy. And, and happy no anniversary. Yay. Happy retirement. Happy retirement. <laughs> no anniversary, no retirement. Bye. Hey, Judy, I just want to say good luck in your retirement and have a blast. We will miss you. And we, it just won't be the same without you, but I wish you the best in retirement. Judy, oh, my favorite memory of you um, probably is when we were doing power school training. And I remember, uh, you know, it's just a week of just these seminars with all this tech stuff going on and all these new terms and all this new stuff to learn. And I remember, um, you know, racking my brain going, oh, man. I wonder what how Judy is, you know, handling all this stuff, you know. Um, and I remember texting you uh, when we were in Disneyland, of, of all places, um, and uh, at this training. And so I'm struggling, figure trying to figure out, trying to make odds and ends of all this new, uh, all this new program. And I'm going, you know, do you feel as bad as I do about this? Are you as confused as I am? And you were like, oh, I gave up hours ago. I'm at the pool drinking wine. And I was like. Now there's a person who knows what's up. Um, 
hopefully someday I'll be able to get to that space uh, in that spot where I can just go, can't control what you don't know, can't control what you can't control. Um, but uh, I'm truly going to miss you. Um, I don't know what we're going to do without you. I don't know what I'm going to do without you. Um, you know, you're like a wealth of knowledge. Um, and uh, what, I, what I like probably most about you, Judy, is that your ability to sort of just cut through this, the BS and just get right to the heart of the issue, no matter what it is. You have no qualm speaking your mind. And I think that's um, probably it's the quality I wish that you know more people had. Um, so I'm truly going to miss you. Um, yeah. Have fun retire, uh, you know, in retirement and um, maybe go to Disneyland for some other reason other than to learn about power school. Bye. Hi, Judy. I couldn't ask for a better mother-in-law. It's been a privilege working with you, and now it's an honor helping you celebrate your retirement. You've worked so hard for so many years, you deserve to take a break and relax. But knowing you, you'll be busier than ever. At least it's with doing things that you love to do. I'm wishing you all the very best. You will be truly missed at MDRHS. I love you. Hi, Judy. Just wanted to take a minute and say good luck. Enjoy your retirement. I don't know how we'll get the schedule done without you there. You certainly put your time in, and I don't know how we'll fill your shoes. We'll certainly miss you, but we wish you the best. Hi, Judy. I just wanted to congratulate you on your upcoming retirement. You, of all people, deserve a relaxing and stress-free retirement and I'm sure that's what you will be getting. To recall a favorite memory would be too difficult as I have so many wonderful memories of, uh, of spending time with you at your home and over the years. Um, you've always been such a sort supportive presence and though I did don't get to see you as much because you're in your office all day, uh, the few times over the course of any year where we do talk, um, it, it's always very, uh, it's wonderful because um, you are always incredibly supportive and kind and um, in a person uh, that's, who is willing to listen and, um, and support the school, obviously, and me and um, all of your colleagues. So, um, so it's been a pleasure to work with you. Um, it's been a privilege to call you a friend. Um, I know how hard you've worked over these years and how much um, it has taken a toll in some respects, although I know you do it because you, you ha feel uh, very much called to contribute um, to something that's meaningful in the way of education. So um, you must know that you are deeply appreciated, um, certainly by me and by all of us. So I look forward to seeing you um, in your retirement, relaxed and happy and doing all the things you love. Bye. Hi, Judy. Um, we'll really miss seeing you next year. We've, we've really enjoyed working with you all these years, um, but we're really excited for you. We hope you really enjoy your retirement. All right. Take care. We'll miss you and enjoy. Happy retirement, Judy. Um, I have to admit that when I first met you, I was a little bit intimidated. And I heard that you could be quite a, a taskmaster. And I found out why after, because you have so much to do and so much to keep track of. And um, you have to keep us all in line. But I have to say that one of the best memories I have of you is sitting with you, trying to make heads or tails of all the ESL information. And you were just patient and asked the right questions and got the information you needed and did it with, um, with just a real sense of collegiality. And I just grew to really love you. So I just, one of the best things was in my life has been meeting you and getting to know you. And I hope you have a great retirement and you will be missed. Bye-bye. Hi, Judy, and congratulations on this most momentous occasion. 
Um, I'm very jealous and I can't wait to join you, but just because you're not going to be at school doesn't mean any of the fun has to end. So as regards, gosh, some fond memories. I have many fond memories of you, Judy, um, the ski trips <laughs> and all that entailed, um, Gordon Lightfoot, and that was a good time and all that entailed. But every time I hear your name and every time I think of a memory, a fond memory, <laughs> it's that England trip and not just any England trip, but the one where the Icelandic volcano went off and we had to take the Irish ferry and over and um, gosh, I, I will never forget that. That's actually one of the one of my fondest memories. And the late night bus trip, and I'm pretty sure we pitched, picked up some hitchhikers and landed in Wales at one o'clock in the morning as, you know, one does. So it has been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for all your help. I'm eternally grateful for knowing you and I'm just looking forward to joining you in your next phase. So congratulations again, good fortune, and have a good time. Ciao. My favorite time with Judy is when I worked in Project Vine and realizing how much Judy did in the school, um, how accommodating she was, um, how much she always really wanted to make sure that the kids got all the programs they could and she walked me through the endless um, complications of scheduling that she finds so easy and understands so well. Um, she also took over the um, Red Stocking Annex um, after Shauna retired and, and did a really good job with that. And she's always been behind the scenes, but she's such an incredible resource and I will miss her so much and all her humor. Thank you, Judy. Judy, I am so happy for you that you get a chance to retire, but I'm a little bit worried about the counseling department because not only are we going to immediately miss out on all your wisdom and expertise and the level of detail and all the things you do every day that you bring, bring to the office every day, but maybe more importantly, I'm a little bit worried about the counseling department because we will have a lack of fashion like we've never known. So if there's any chance you could come back at least once in a while, like on a consultation level, just to give a little tips and pointers, even, even for the guys, John and I could use it too. I'd really appreciate that. Actually, a heartfelt, I hope you have the time of your life in your retirement and we genuinely will miss you. Bye. Congratulations, Judy, on your retirement. I'm really gonna miss working with you. Uh, you've been a great colleague and I really appreciate your patience, especially when I didn't pass in my grades on time um, but I really appreciate all you've done for the high school and uh, I'm sure you're going to re enjoy retirement with your grandchildren and your family and I hope to see you around. Thank you Judy for all your amazing work you've done over the years for Martha's Vineyard Regional High School. Um, I appreciate all the times I was able to come in last minute with silly questions about grades and verifications and scheduling and you were always there uh, to help uh, at the most stressful times. So appreciate it. Thank you. Judy, there's so much I'm going to miss about you. I like how you have an answer for every obscure question I could possibly throw your way. I don't know how you know as much as you do. I'm totally going to miss your sass and your spunk around the office and your hair, like you have the most amazing hair. I don't know how it always looks so fabulous, but I'm gonna miss that. But now that you're retiring, I feel like it's probably time to let the cat out of the bag about your state reports. There's no way they took as long as they did. I, I'm pretty sure that you were just shoe shopping that whole time, right? And that whole like, I need to fix my state reports or I need this for my state report. That wasn't an act, I feel like it was. Anyway, you had us all fooled and you got some good shoes out of the deal, so. Good for you. Happy retirement.